I guess it's Obama for the win, and it's finally over. It seems like a long election cycle. <laughs> um, for those of you watching my video expecting to see some sour grapes, I'm afraid you came to the wrong place. You'll have to go find someone else. Uh, I look at this election as just another peaceful transition of power, and so another victory for the United States. That's the way I, that's the way I choose to look at uh, every presidential election. But anyways, um, the, watching the results come, I mean, I, it, it was almost like inevitable. I knew the results were going to be similar. I, I've been saying in my videos for the past few weeks or so that it looks like it's going to win, Obama's going to win. Uh, the optimist in me was overruled by the realist in me. And it's, I don't feel like, you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, this country's been through many worse things than <laughs> having a Democrat in the White House. I am hate, you know, so it's not that big a deal to me. But uh, just a couple observations. First of all, Obama's little daughters couldn't be cuter if they tried. Uh, the smiles on their faces. I can't even imagine being that a. I can do they have the appreciation that my daddy's going to be president? It's just to see the little girls, and and especially his older one. I think she's probably a little more aware. I mean, she's only ten, two, ten or eleven or whatever, but she probably has an appreciation a little more. But just I mean, I mean, they just who can look at little girls like that and and not have them bring a smile to your face. Um, but uh, <clears throat> I watched the cameras pan around Chicago at the site of uh, Obama's acceptance speech and I saw, you know, I mean faces of all uh, sexes, races and whatever, but to see the black faces and the absolute like I don't know I guess you know you, you see somebody with just this jubilation or I don't even know how to describe it part of me has to I mean I have an appreciation for the feeling that, and, and I don't want to necessarily make it just about race, because you know Obama is supposed to be the post-racial president, and I and I hope that at least that part of this country will uh, will be in the past. I know, that's way too optimistic. Um, I try to judge people based on their character. Um, but again, I just have that appreciation. I don't, I don't look at the face of somebody that, and you know, this guy has obviously inspired a lot of people. I think a lot of uh, young people are inspired by him in general. They might look at the political world with a naive eye, I think uh, I think many young people look at it as the bad guys versus the good guys, and I'm afraid that's just not the way it is. Um, but I'm gonna have to, I mean I'm gonna have to uh, wish uh, President eventual President Obama. I'm gonna have to wish him the best. I mean I don't want to root against my own country. I just can't do that. I've seen that the past, well, I've seen it several times in my lifetime. I just don't want to see that happen. I, and I damn sure I'm, I'm not going to root against my country uh, just because the guy that happens to be in the White House is uh, a guy I didn't vote for. So, I mean, take that whichever way you want, but... I still have to get up and go to work and make money and do the things that I do for and with my family. 
and my everyday routine isn't going to be much different regardless of who's in the White House. And that's the truth for pretty much everybody. So hard work is where you get things, you know, you get places with hard work. And I just hope that the people that voted for Obama understand that putting him in the White House isn't the answer to problems. They are the answer to their problems. They have to do things for themselves. Uh, if we want to sit back and wait for the right guy to get in a certain political office, and then all of our problems are going to be taken care of. Like, I'm sure everybody's seen this video, this woman that says she's not going to have to worry about her mortgage, she's not going to have to worry about putting gas in her car and all this. I'm sorry, ma'am, but yes, you are. That's, that's the way things are. As long as we remain free, we're going to have to do things for ourselves. That's the way we should be. Work. Do things. Do things for yourself. Do, go out and do the best job you can every day. Don't wait for someone to come, in long, come along and give you something that you feel you're owed. Earn things for yourselves. So, I guess that's about it. Uh, sorry to for the people that left me these little messages. Uh, I'd hate to see what you'd have done if if uh, you'd have been on the losing side of this one. Because boy, you sure don't know how to win very graciously. But uh, again, I'll say. Uh, Good luck, the best of luck to uh, President-elect Obama, and uh, I'm just hoping that uh, what's his name in Minnesota doesn't win, because uh, Al Franken or whatever his name is, yeah. <laughs> so I get to be a little partisan, you know, before the night's over. Anyways, I guess that's it. Later on.